The following video contains spoilers from Game of Thrones through Season 7, Episode 1, and from the book, so if you don't want to be spoiled, please change videos now. I'm creating a bunch of videos for the channel, and some of them are going to be fan theories. Some of my fan theories are going to be ones that I'm pretty confident about, that they're going to absolutely come true. Uh, other fan theories that I post are more wild speculation, and this one falls under the latter. The books had a character called Lady Stoneheart. That character is the resurrected Catelyn Stark, and she was resurrected because Thoris of Mir could not bring her back, but Beric Dondarrion instead sacrificed his own life so that she could come back from the dead. This didn't happen in the show, obviously. Uh, George R. R. Martin would have liked to have seen that, but the showrunners decided to go a different route. However, I think that they are foreshadowing a little bit and potentially showing that there might be a Lord Stoneheart and I think that person is going to be Sander Clegane and this is why. The series of Game of Thrones in part looks like a redemption story for the Hound. He goes from a horrible killer who kills the butcher's boy and everybody hates and then slowly throughout the course of the series you see the Hound doing things that are good and right and making the right decision, most of the time. For example, he goes and he protects Sansa. He goes and he offers to help Sansa leave the capital during the siege. He gets Arya after she runs away from the Brotherhood without banners, and tries to get her to her Aunt Lysa in the Vale. Now, you could say, well, he was just doing it for the money, but over the course of the time that he was with her, he was honestly just caring for her. And even when it was shown that there was not going to be reward from her Aunt Lysa because she was dead, uh, he continued to watch over her uh, until he was left for dead after losing to Brienne. Afterwards, he joins up with a Sept, and he's living basically a peaceful life until his friends at the Sept were killed. He hunts down the people who killed them, and then who does he meet up with again? The Brotherhood Without Banners. And instead of trying to kill him this time, they start working with him, and they offer to have him join up with them to fight the impending darkness that's coming from the north. And there is the scene in the cabin where Beric Dondarrion pretty much agrees with the Hound and says, look, I don't know why the Lord of Light is bringing me back. It doesn't make any sense to me either. I'm not anything great. So, but there's a reason that I'm being brought back over and over again and maybe one day I'll realize why. And he points out that there's a reason that the Lord of Light keeps having Sander Clegane run into the Brotherhood without, without banners. Why all of these things have been happening to Sander Clegane over the course of his life. And he sees the vision, and he knows now that all the Brotherhood Without Banners has to go up to Eastwatch by the Sea, meet up with the Free Folk, and probably have a big battle with the Army of the Dead. Where it's possible, if my theory is true, that you might see Sander Cocaine go down in combat. He might die. But Beric Dondarrion might then realize that having Sander Clegane alive in the future wars to come is more important than having himself be alive. He might then sacrifice himself for the greater good and bring back Sander Clegane to help fight in the wars to come. What could be even maybe a bigger stretch is maybe even Beric Dondarrion might think, well, maybe Sandra Clegane is Azor Ahai. Maybe that's what we're going to see. Is, it good? is that the case? I don't know. Are there likelier fan theories as to what might happen when the Brotherhood go up and meet up with potentially Jon Snow and the Wildlings? Uh, is it possible that maybe Jon Snow falls again and Beric Dondarrion gives his own life to save Jon Snow instead because they sent Melisandre packing south? That is also another 
valid potential theory that could take place. However, I see a lot of foreshadowing in that one scene, in that one talking between the two, between Beric Dondarrion and the Hound. It seems to me that you have somebody who's questioning why he keeps being brought back, and you have somebody who keeps getting thrown into the mix with the Brotherhood Without Banners, and I think that reason why is going to be that eventually Beric Dondarrion sacrifices his own life to save the life of the Hound. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? I mean, remember to leave a comment uh, in the comment section is what I was saying, whether or not you agree with this or not. I freely admit that this is a zany, wacky theory and not one as solid as my theory about Jon Snow getting resurrected. Um, I want you to also like this video and make sure to share and subscribe. Um, I look forward to bringing you more videos soon.